I did a story a while ago on the jet-powered hoverboard called Flyboard Air by Zapata Industries. The story I originally did was introducing what the Flyboard Air is and what it could do in 2016. Now for all those who are not familiar, the Flyboard Air is a one-person jet hoverboard that you strap your feet into. You control the thrust with a hand control throttle and steer by leaning forwards, backwards, left or right. The hoverboard is powered by five small jet engines which produce 1500 horsepower. It has enough kerosene fuel in its backpack to fly for about 10 to 12 minutes and can fly at speeds of up to 110 miles per hour. And it does have the capability of flying up to 10,000 feet, but only if you can carry enough fuel. But even though it's an amazing piece of technology, it seems to have some limitations, such as short flight times due to the limited amount of fuel you can carry in a backpack. Also, you could not fly over residential or populated areas because of the jet engine noise. And finally, based off all the video footage on their channel, he only ever flew it over water. I assume that's in case something goes wrong, he could crash land in the water and not hit hard on land. But I checked out their latest videos, and it would appear flying over land is no longer an issue. In one video, he's flying through a rocky desert area in the US, and in another, down the racetrack at the GP Le Mans. He even performed in front of the French President Emmanuel Macron at the Bastille Day military parade, flying in with his hoverboard controller in one hand and a military rifle in the other. So it would appear they've either worked out any bugs that would cause the flyboard air to stall and crash, or the pilot is now very confident in his piloting skills. But I wanted to revisit this story to see if they'd made any major improvements, such as longer flight times, or maybe it's now available for sale to the public. But even though their website states, currently commercialized and in development within the recreation, entertainment, military, medical and industrial sectors, their retail website does not list it for sale. But another website shows it listed with a price of nearly 300,000 euro, but states it's not for sale, but are taking pre-orders. So we still can't buy one yet, and even if we could, you are looking at a retail price of nearly 330,000 US dollars. But while we wait for that glorious day we can all fly around on our own jet hoverboards, Zapata Industries is not sitting still. They continue to develop and push boundaries of what the Flyboard Air can do. Just recently, Frank Zapata has become the first person to cross the English Channel on a jet-powered flyboard. Frank made the 22 mile or 35 kilometer crossing from France to England on Sunday, August the 4th, 2019. He took off at 6.15 a.m. near the Port of Calais and headed towards England at speeds of up to 110 miles per hour or 177 kilometers per hour. For the duration of the flight, he held an altitude of around 15 meters or about 50 feet, while followed by several support helicopters. But because the flyboard air can only fly for about 10 minutes at a time, Frank made one brief stop on a boat in the middle of the English Channel to refuel before resuming his flight. He made it across the 22 miles from coast to coast in 22 minutes. Now no one is calling this a world first, but since I love world first stories, I'm going to. Flyboard Air is now the world's first jet powered hoverboard to cross the English Channel. And one day soon, we'll be parked in my garage. Well, maybe. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.